Well, when you think of scars, you think of permanent damage, yeah. right? But scientists now, down the road, have discovered a way to actually reverse scarring in your lungs. I didn't think that you could do such a thing. But yeah. anyway, KDK's Kara Pritchard has been looking into this procedure today. She's now live in our studio with this report. Neil, Casey, according to the Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation, about 40,000 Americans die from lung scarring each year. But now doctors at UT Health Northeast are excited about a new drug that could ultimately reverse scars inside the lungs. This year, uh, two new drugs were approved by the FDA for the treatment of pulmonary fibrosis, but they're not curative. These drugs can slow the progression of the disease, but they're expensive and don't come without complications. Dr. Stephen Idell and Sriram Shetty at UT Health Northeast and Tyler have discovered a new drug, a modern day medical breakthrough. We're excited uh, about uh, this particular peptide is what we call it. It appears to work as well, if not better than perfenidone which is one of the FDA approved drugs. This piece of protein not only prevents scarring in the lungs, it reverses it. In other words, we set up the models to form scar tissue and come in after the injury is already set up and we actually find that uh, the lungs actually revert to a more normal appearance. Dr. Idell expects the process to get to the clinical trial phase to be quicker than normal. Because it is a small fragment of a protein. It, uh, it's seven amino acids, which means it's really very small. And we'll be able to actually do testing, we think, in a, perhaps a two-year time frame. And all of this was developed in Tyler, Texas. It's competitive with anybody's research, whether at Harvard, Yale, or Hopkins, and uh, the proof is in the pudding in the sense that we are getting the grants uh, to support this work, and we continue to do that. Now for more information about this research, visit our website, myeasttext.com. Reporting live in the studio, Kara Pritchard, KTK News. Kara, thank you. Greg